We are at Abbey Road Studio One, um, which is incredibly exciting. We're here to record a string and brass section and to record the orchestra in phrases so that the producer could go away and put them into place as in how they see fit. Yeah, I was a bit nervous at the start of it because I've not really booked something like this big before myself, but we had such a lovely team. The fixer who organizes all the uh, musicians, then there's also the engineers and the assistants setting up for the day uh, all the microphones, just making sure everything is working in that respect. We had Fee Cruikshank being our engineer. Fee's pretty much a legend and uh, so great to work with. There was also a fantastic orchestrator, Ben, and also ended up actually conducting the session, which was great. Today I'm recording and kind of helping to produce Hamai's arrangement for this track, um, which meant firstly working out how to record it for the sound that she wanted and planning the kind of layout of the orchestra and all the microphones. I think it's about 42 players sending that to the team at Abbey Road and then just helping to communicate really between the team in here and the conductor and the orchestra out there. So yeah, a few things still to set up before the recording. It's going to sound amazing, looking forward. <laughs> I'm so excited to hear this many. I mean, this is the most players we've had all together since pre-COVID, so I'm super excited oh, to amazing. hear. amazing, yeah. It's going to be massive. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The main thing about our new COVID setup is spacing everyone out a lot more than we used to, which for some types of music does have a really positive effect, but for more kind of short action-y stuff is more of a challenge because everything just sounds very roomy and it's hard to get the tightness and the detail. I feel like a lot of us are still experimenting trying different things to work out kind of how to get what we're used to hearing or an even better sound with this new layout. Happy with that? Everyone like that? I'm really yeah. happy. Okay, can you Here it comes. The writing process was actually a little bit hard to to keep track how how it started, <laughs> but at some point it kind of just comes together. I just know there's a lot of things that ended up in the bin before there was something I stuck with. Sometimes I start writing on the piano, but for this one I sort of just straight with with the brass. So I was just trying to make it big and epic. Kind of just wanted to make sure it has impact with what I'm writing as well. I want to start strong and then it kind of just progresses throughout with more embellishments or m more lines in there. We wanted to record the whole arrangement in one go, but then we also wanted to break it down and record the individual phrases, but then also split that up into just the string section and just the brass section, plus the contrabass Can we just try something? Is it all right to try the longs in tremolo? Do one more of 85 through 91, please. I also prepared a few ideas just in terms of using different articulations. Uh, for example, just instead of just a normal long to have maybe some tremolo or an extra crescendo, things like that. The parts we recorded didn't actually get quite used as planned, but they're such a great asset to learn from. So I passed them on to Cairo, who's one of the newest members of the composer team. So once Homaya gave me the parts from the Ivory Road session, I was just like amazed. I, I, I've never heard anything of that quality, like in its like raw form and stems. 
I was amazed how huge it sounded. I was amazed by how clean it sounded. It was, it was something I, like, I've never heard before. It was crazy. I wanted to make sure I had what Hermione, Hermione made and kind of flip it in a way that allows it to stay huge. It was just so inspiring. I just wanted to turn it into my own thing. It was nice working this way because I got to work with samples, which I don't do as often as I used to. So it was kind of like going back to what I used to do and you know, having fun with it and trying to turn something into something different. Um, now I usually make everything on my own. I write everything by myself. So it was nice getting to do that again. The first stem that really like took my interest was the horns, the brass. The way it was phrased, it was easy for me to chop them up into parts and kind of manoeuvre them in different ways. Hamaya allowed me to have full creative freedom on the track, so she, she gave me the stems and allowed me to just work. It didn't take too long, but I wanted to go straight in and just create something that sounded huge. And that's what I did. <laughs> nice.